The MGF Culver Puller is a mechanical device designed to improve the installation process of concrete culverts. The MGF Culver Puller uses hydraulic power to produce 14 tonnes of horizontal force to pull box culverts and pipes together. The unit is delivered on a self-contained stillage which includes the required accessories to set up quickly and easily. Always be aware of individual component weights and final assembly weights using adequate lifting equipment and good manual handling practices where appropriate. Always provide suitable exclusion zones around the unit during assembly and installation. The unit can also be used to pull concrete pipes together. This safe system of work will focus on culvert installs, however the same process applies to pulling pipes with the exception of the wheel setting which will be covered later. The base unit is suitable for concrete culverts with an internal height of 1,220mm to 3,050mm. There are two power options to choose from, a 12 volt battery powered unit which benefits from no diesel fumes and a wireless remote control, however the battery does need to be charged at the end of each shift, or an electric powered unit which runs off a 6 kV amp generator. Directional identifiers in the following animation, including left, right, front, rear, top, bottom, are made assuming the operator is positioned facing the hydraulic valve selector. Place the unit and stillage on suitably flat ground close to the work area using either the fork pockets or the lifting point with suitably rated chains. The wheel height must be adjusted to suit the profile of the concrete being pulled as listed in the operator's manual. The height of the culvert will determine if and how many extensions are required. These should be bolted on with supplied bolts, nuts and lock washers to a minimum torque of 140 Newton meters. Remove the inner post from the stillage and insert into the struts. Adjust to the recommended height as listed on the adjustment chart located on the side of the puller unit. Note that the numbers on the post should face the toolbox end of the unit. Secure in place with a 25mm diameter pin. Remove the handle from the stillage and pin into the rear of the puller unit. Ensure that the lower hydraulic shoe is in transport position. Remove the pins to secure the puller unit to the stillage. Attach suitably rated chains to the lifting pin. Stand clear and slowly begin to raise the unit from the stillage. Carefully lower the unit in front of the first culvert. An operative standing safely inside the culvert can grab the handle and pull the suspended unit into the culvert with the hydraulic ram facing the culverts to be pulled. Never place yourself or any body part underneath any object being lowered. Detach the sling or chain and using the handle, tilt back the puller such that the unit can move freely on the wheels. Position the puller centrally near the rear of the culvert. Prepare and apply jointing material as required. Position the second culvert as close as physically possible to the first, ensuring that their spigot and sockets are perfectly aligned. Prevent loose surface bedding material from entering the joint space during positioning. There are two methods of pulling pipes or culverts, a rigid steel pulling beam or pulling hooks. The pulling hooks are better suited to smaller culverts bedded on gravel or sand. The pulling beam will work on any bedding material and suitable for culverts within its range. A selection of pulling beams from 2 meters to 6 meters are available for a range of culvert types. The specified length must fully bear on the entire width of the concrete nib. Attach a two-leg chain to the pulling beam handling point and lower flush against the face of the second culvert. The pulling eyes and 90 degree bend on the telescopic foot should be facing the culvert. Telescopic feet can be adjusted to suit different culvert thicknesses. The height should be adjusted such that the pulling eyes are parallel to the hydraulic ram on the unit. The selector valve should be turned counterclockwise to the set and release strut setting. Tip the front of the puller to the floor and push the strut to the ceiling until the rubber pad wedges tightly against the ceiling of the culvert. For longer strut configurations, it is recommended that two operatives raise the struts and that the wheels are chocked to prevent movement. Ensure that the strut is supported until the hydraulic ram is engaged. 
With the remote, hold the set button, which will push the lower shoe to the floor. This will force the bearing part of the upper shoe tightly into the ceiling. The lower shoe must be fully extended when setting the strut. Now turn the valve clockwise to the pull and release culvert setting. Corded remote controls are provided to allow operatives to stand safely back during the pulling operation. With battery powered units there is also a wireless remote available. Extend the pulling cylinder out and attach the key link to the front of the puller unit with 25mm diameter pin and M10 bolt. The distance from the key link to the front of the culvert unit will now govern the attachments required. Attach the necessary pulling link or combination of pulling links. Importantly, the last pulling link in the chain must be facing up to accept the master link of the pulling chain. Fit the safety hooks of the two leg chain to the pulling eyes on the pulling beam and slot the master link into the pulling hook. The chain should now be shortened to suit the shortening clutches. It is advised to count chain links to ensure both legs are equal. It is important to note that each leg of the two leg chain should not pull at an angle greater than 60 degrees to the pulling beam. Shallower angles will put excessive force into the chain which might cause it to break under load. If using pulling hooks, the chain is not required. Choose the size of the hook that suits the concrete base thickness. Position the hook tightly against the face of the concrete with the lip hooking underneath the base along its full length. Attach the necessary pulling links or combination of pulling links to the key link and pulling hook. The pulling link that connects to the pulling hook should always face downwards. When using combination of pulling links, any intermediate hooks should face upwards. Pack out the pulling hook with timber to prevent rotation and to ensure that the pulling force is parallel to the culvert floor. Operatives should now stand in a position of safety. On smaller culverts or where the pulling hook is rotating, a vertical timber post can be cut to suit and installed between the pulling hook and the ceiling of the culvert to prevent rotation. Before pulling commences, it is critical that the crane take at least 75% of the culvert's weight to reduce the frictional resistance to the bedding material. With the crane taking the weight of the culvert, the actual pulling force required during the installation of culvert units is to achieve adequate compression of the preformed jointing material and provide a satisfactory seal. The suppliers of the various jointing material suggest a force of one ton per linear meter of joint is required to satisfactorily compress the jointing material. Intermittently press the set button on the remote control to begin pulling the culvert into place until the joint is sufficiently closed. Do not hold down the set button as this can overstress the concrete. The crane can now release the weight of the culvert which will tighten the joint further as the self weight of the concrete compresses the joint. Take care on culverts laid on a gradient as the crane will be suspending the culvert's level which can lead to a slightly tighter joint at the base than the top. In this case, the slope should be compensated for with the crane lift, and when the weight is released, the joint will compress further. Press the release button on the remote to release tension from the chains. Move the pulling beam or pulling hooks and apply jointing material to the second culvert as required. Lower the third culvert into position. Repeat the action of setting the pulling beam or pulling hooks adding additional pulling links as required or by utilizing longer legs of the two leg chain. Follow previous steps to tighten the joint. When complete, remove the pulling ancillaries and switch the selector valve anti-clockwise. For safety reasons, the unit should be repositioned every time a further two culverts have been pulled into position. Support the strut and press release on the remote control until the lower shoe is fully retracted. Then carefully lower the strut to avoid finger traps. Completely retract the pulling cylinder and reposition the unit in the front culvert. Repeat as necessary until the job is complete. With the MGF culvert puller in the transport position, place it back into the stillage along with all the ancillaries, securing components in place with their associated pins and clips. 
before handling and transporting the unit, ensure the front and rear stillage connection pins are in place and secure.